Yeah. I'll tell you when it's stable. So right, it's stable now. So we're here at the, with V Cardio. So hi, so who are you? Hi, I'm Dr. Sandeep Shah. I'm the CEO of Vicardio and also Turidian Laser Technologies, the parent company. So we're and here, we're seeing in real time. Yeah, is, what is that? That is uh, my beat-to-beat uh, -beat arterial blood pressure, um, which has been uh, uh, taken by this uh, uh, device here. Beat which is beat. Yes, so with every heartbeat, it's my blood pressure, systolic and diastolic with every heartbeat. And essentially, this is equivalent to having an intra-arterial line, which you'd only have in intensive care. Um, it's very uh, accurate and uh, gives a lot of information about... Very accurate. Micro. Very accurate. It's just a little uh, watch. Uh, it's a small biosensor within a yeah. watch framework, yes. So uh, effectively, you've got it there, and you can see um, that uh, essentially... Is it's it very comfortable. Any pressure on your wrist, or is it just uh... not at all? Uh, this is just basically for application. Uh, it's very comfortable, putting no pressure at all. Uh, the technology works on a continuous basis with no energy entering the body, no need for any compression, and actually no calibration at all either. There's no weird feeling in the wrist. Absolutely not. Not. It's just like wearing a watch. It's even better than wearing a watch. It's a lot more comfortable than my other watch um, uh, that, that I have. Yeah, mine vibrates all the time. So, <laughs> so this one, you, you have to turn it this way so it goes uh, under on the underside of your wrist? No, what I'm doing here is taking blood pressure in the way that doctors like myself would normally do. And I'm keeping at the phlebostatic axis, which is a technical term, to make sure it's the level of the heart. So I get the best metric. And you can see uh, there, you can see that uh, you can... Uh, visualize my uh, entire arteriogram. So how is it different from uh, any other uh, solution that takes blood pressure right now? Because well, I, I know the big one that puts you put on the arm, right? You push something right. yeah. and it blocks your your blood. That's right. It's That's, that's the called, standard, uh, right? That's exactly the standard and that's based on a cuff and that constricts the artery, it stops the flow and then uh, basically starts measuring the vibration in the cuff to try and estimate what your blood pressure is. It doesn't actually measure it directly and that's called oscillometry, very poor functioning technology that we've been living with for over 40, 50 years. This is novel fresh, very dynamic, giving very accurate readings, and actually um, uh, also uh, in a form factor which is suitable for the modern day digital uh, consumer. Is it possible to take it off? Can we see how it looks? Of course, yes. So um, how long is the battery life? The well, battery life is a few days, but it's uh, rechargeable. And you can constantly wear it the whole time? Yes, absolutely. And then... So what is this light I'm seeing in there? Is it some that, kind of infrared? Or? Uh, it's not a, um, uh, 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 basically a specific uh, wavelength. We have a light which is over a broad wavelength. The key thing about this technology is that no energy enters the body at all and that it's uh, completely um, inside the sensor and uh, we're using the propensity of light to be able to measure key parameters of blood pressure. And it's very comfortable to wear. Is it a secret or how, what is the kind of sensor? It's uh, called an opto, um, uh, uh, optical power modulation sensor. It's an optoelectronic sensor which has been developed by ourselves. And, uh, um, you know, we have uh, patented it with over 37 issued patents around the world. Um, and are about to now commercialize it and uh, launch it at the end of this year. So it says all your data at your finger, fingertips. Uh, does right. it, it goes to the app that you have already working on, the, on, on Android? Uh, yes, and we also have iOS versions already? as well. Is um, it shipping or not? not uh, it will be released uh, for shipping at the end of the year. So what do you need to do still? We're just finishing a very pivotal clinical trial in uh, a cardiac ICU department uh, at the uh, largest cardiovascular center in Europe and London. Um, and we're uh, actually uh, then finishing our final aesthetic design ready for launch in quarter four. So that means you're going to be um, uh, NHS approved, uh, FDA approved, all these, uh, did we, you approve it or what's it called? Uh, absolutely. Well, we will be C uh, approved, so we'll have the C mark. We will also then be progressing to getting the FDA mark and also in addition um, we'll get uh, clearance from various healthcare systems as well in support of the product. 
and uh, so it says right here, blood pressure made simple, um, accurate. But if this really works, this is going to be huge, right? Yes, this Isn't is... It like hundreds of millions of people need this? Absolutely. Um, hypertension is the world's largest single uh, medical market with over 50% of the adult population suffering from hypertension and also has a major uh, impact on uh, younger uh, populations as well as the elderly. What um, is it's, it for, for the young people? Um, it's good because it would detect uh, blood pressure uh, problems at an early stage before they actually cause damage in the body. Um, and then people can modify their lifestyles, improve their health, and try and prevent themselves from becoming hypertensive. So how's your blood pressure? Um, well, uh, my blood pressure is controlled. I'm a doctor and uh, I'm very careful about making sure I uh, look after it properly. Um, but that's augmented by the fact that I've developed this technology. Um, and uh, hence, uh, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm very confident that my blood pressure will be remaining to be controlled. Anyone in the trials or internally in the company or friends or somebody that have been using it and found something out that was important for them to find out? Yes, indeed. We, we, we've done some uh, early uh, sort of investigative trials where we've actually managed through that trial process uh, to find that the person who didn't know that they were in a pre-hypertensive state were and managed to get them to see their doctor and get some professional uh, intervention medication. Um, so this is a very unique technology that can actually pick up changes at a very early stage. So it needs to be millions of people need to give this as a Christmas gift, right? The upcoming Christmas, you can be ready. And improved well, and everything, and mass, mass produced. We, we're uh, hoping to make it available, and uh, uh, it would be a lovely Christmas present, I think, for um, a number of people. But also, um, you know, we're, we're very keen that uh, the world of blood pressure measurement benefits from this new, refreshing, unique optical technology. Is possible you can have a good price for it? Um, the price is actually very uh, competitive for what um, systems exist to try and measure what we measure. And uh, actually, um, in terms of the economic impact um, of blood pressure, by having this system, you can actually improve uh, your health overall and possibly even uh, over time reduce medication costs. Is it possible you will combine it with a smartwatch? Uh, absolutely. Uh, indeed, uh, you have an example here. This is a smart uh, phone. The same sort of output can be potentially over time put into a smartwatch. Because there's all these heart rate monitoring things, right? But that's not the same as blood pressure monitoring. No, heart rate is actually a totally different metric, not as useful as blood pressure. Blood pressure is actually a far more dynamic, important um, medical parameter important for the consumer in terms of performance and well-being as well. Um, and we obviously do heart rate as well as blood pressure, so uh, we're a more comprehensive sensor. And uh, so potentially you want to partner with some companies making smartwatches? Uh, yes, we've... Uh, You're going to launch your own maybe? Possibly, but we have some interesting discussions occurring around the world. Uh, this is a technology very um, suitable for engagement with a number of um, uh, key technology partners which we're investigating. So maybe it's, the watch is going to beep and tell you, hey, you need to uh, get some, uh, some, you need to drink more water, or you ask, what, what do people need when they have high blood pressure? They need, you need to get, take your medicine? Or? Well, a number of things. Uh, the interventions can include, you know, lifestyle modification, relaxation, as well as medication. Um, if you actually are underhydrated, we can detect that on the arteriogram and uh, you know uh, a number of other easy changes that one can make including reducing uh, the stress that you're experiencing um, so uh, this has a, a real importance in the whole world of uh, well-being consumer health and medical care